Nice and neat. There you go. Oh, God! What was that? What is up, everyone? My name is Iris. Welcome to I Am Iris Gaming. Today, we're going to be playing a game called Imaginary Friend Asylum. Or how I like to say, Asylum. But we know that English is not my strong suit, so we're just gonna... Whatever comes out of my mouth. It... Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Oh, Jesus. Why is everything on fire? Everything, everything is always on fire. Oh, wow. It engulfed. I'm burning. Burning up for you, baby. Oh. My head is on fire. Mommy, Daddy, I'm sorry, you know. Oh. January 17th, 1948, 8 a.m. Oh. Half more children's. Aslan. That's how we're going to be calling it now, okay? Aslan. That's a new word in the English dictionary, everyone. Write that down. Anthony Rivers. Anthony! Anthony! Have you guys ever seen the anime Candy? For all my old souls out there, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, ma'am, you're a shadow. Anthony Rivers, uh... Yes, I'm here to check in. Brought some belongings, I see. You won't be needing these anymore. What? 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 What do you mean? All you need is in the asylum. I'll be throwing this garbage away. What? Garbage? Oh, 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 oh. How dare you disrespect me? Follow me this instant unless you wish to be punished before stepping inside. P ha! Disrespect, ma'am. I'm just asking a question. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's all I have. What do you mean? What? It's okay. She's not important. Otherwise, I wish she was her face, but she doesn't. She's not important. Oh, God. I can move already. How the hell? Oh, God. I'm going so fast. I said get inside now. God damn it. My first day, they, they should at least show a little decorum. That's not very demure. Not very friend. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that's how I walk. <laughs> you are hereby admitted to Hathmore Asylum. You are not to leave the premises under any circumstances. You are expected to respect the staff. If you can't follow these rules, you'll face severe consequences. Understood? Uh, well, we're gonna see if we can try to get her into our good side. Like, you know, maybe she can sneak us some candy or something, you know? Yes, ma'am. You'll be sharing a room with other children. Myself and the other staff are very busy, but I trust you can find it yourself. What? Uh huh? You'll fit in nicely in room six in the male ward, and don't forget to pick up hospital gown in there. Uh, uh. Me. What do you mean busy? All I see is you guys just like standing around. What the heck is this? Lunch room. This isn't the right way. Well, I'm just trying to look. This isn't the right way. God damn it. Remember this. I'll remember who you are. I can't even see her face. This isn't the right way. This isn't the right way. What is this? Perform procedures? What kind of procedures? I wish I could leave. Well, then where, where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, in here? Oh. Ward number six. Oh, so that's where I'm supposed to go. What's this? Bathroom. Let's go in. Enter. Oh. Is this my room? Gotta pick up a gown. Gotta look my best, you know? Gotta pick up- <gasps> Oh, God! Oh my god. Are you feeling a little sweaty there, buddy? Feeling a little... It's, it is hot. 
It is hot out here. For those of you that are living on the west side, like me, oh my god. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck in this damn heat. Oh, hello. You're a new kid, huh? What's your name? Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Anthony. Anthony, huh? I'm Niccolo. I've been here longer than anybody. So if you have any questions, come to me anytime. Uh, yeah, should we should we ask him about this guy? Uh, wait, you can see him too. What? Is, <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Yeah, yeah. Why? That's Polo, my imaginary friend. Not many others can see him. He's the only one I have. I've been able to rely on here. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's be nice to Polo. Maybe he'll he'll also give us some candy. You know. Nice to meet you, Polo. I appreciate the sentiment. Anything else you'd like to know? Yeah, how long have you been here? I've been here since I was three. God damn! Sorry. I expect I'll be doomed to live in nut houses my whole life. Everything thinks I'm a lunatic. Uh, maybe one day you'll be able to leave. In any case, if you're able to see Polo, you'll likely see other strange things around here too. Strange? Yeah, strange things what? The ghost of Asylum. Rumor has it that he's the imaginary friend of the Asylum itself. What? There's a ghost here? Yeah, yeah, let's do that one. Probably a good idea to steer clear of him if you can. I don't know why, like, my voice started getting a little deeper. Maybe it's because into the pit, you know? Uh, thanks for the heads up. Well, regardless, you should finish getting ready. It'll be 9 a.m. soon. That's when our routine starts. Uh-oh. But yeah, the, their nurses never even told me about anything. Which one is my- what the heck is this? I like how they just have, like, tools laying around. Damn it. Oh, this is me! I'm eight years old, you guys! Diagnosis schizophrenia? Huh? A dull and sullen child, his eyes are vacant, and he often stares at nothing for long periods of time. Parents reported that he had a friend who passed away, and behavior issues and fits ensued thereafter. The patient attempted suicide while still living at home and must be kept under close watch. Oh god. Insulin coma therapy once a day, six times per week? Plus pills to be administered with a meal once per day? Huh? Boys must wake up at 6 a.m. at the latest every day. God damn! Male patients are to appear clean, presentable, and in regards ready for the day by 625. Punctuality is rewarded while tardiness and otherwise breaking rules will result in punishment. Breakfast, chores, treatment, 9 a.m. Oh, that's why. Treatment. Lunch, free time, lessons, supper. Oh, God. Oh. Alright, but my God. Schedule begins now. This is your first day, so I'll give you an advice. Okay. Don't dawdle. Listen to everything the staff says and for God's sake, try to avoid attention. I'll do my best. Wait, am I wearing the gown? Do I have anything on? Am I wearing it? Can I talk to you? Buona fortuna, amico mio. Good fortune to you too, Polo. D did I wear my thing on? Okay, well- <laughs> There you are, you're late. I'm only a couple seconds late, ma'am. Excuse me. I had to talk to an imaginary friend. Excuse me. It's way more important than talking to you. Do you think this whole place revolves around you? You're lucky I'm not putting you in punishment cell for this. Uh, let's try to smooth things over. I'm sorry. The other nurses are waiting in the operating room upstairs to give you your treatment. Now go already! My- what? what? My surgery? That's not what I thought when they said treatment. She said upstairs, right? My god. Over here. Not the right way. Bathroom. Bathroom. Punishment cell? You got a punishment cell? That's crazy! Not the right way. Here's the sur surgery. I don't. Why is it surgery? Oh God. Hey, how are you, Anthony Rivers? Right? Yes, ma'am. Good. Let's begin your treatment. Oh God. 
Please don't put anything up my butt. Please. Please. Give me your arm. Oh, thank you. That is a huge needle! I, I, Ma'am, I don't think that's how you put a needle. Sleep tight. You hear muffled voices. So what do you think about him? He's perfect. He's just what I've been wanting. God. Ew. What does that mean? Disgusting. And here anymore and I pass out. Okay. 11.42 a.m. Okay, so I think it's still the same date, right? Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm awake. I see you're awake. Tell me, Anthony, are you feeling calm? No, but I think I need to lie. I have a bad feeling. Uh, yes, thank you. Excellent. That will be all for you today. How much lunch time? Don't be late for lunch unless you want to miss it. Oh, God. God, thank you. Thank you. I have free time now. I miss mom and dad. I want to write them a letter. How am I going to write them a letter? Just go downstairs. Oh my god. Perform procedures. I thought I was supposed to go there. Isn't the right way. Okay, well. Did I have time, right? I have time. This must be my room. Oh, what's in here? Hey, buddy. How was your treatment? Ugh. It's like a huge noodle in me. Yeah, maybe I should tell him. I should tell him everything. I need a friend in here. Sounds like insulin therapy. I knew a kid who had done that before. Oh, yeah, wait, what? What do you mean you? Well, it's time for lunch soon. This is our only other free time other than before bed. Feel free to do whatever. Um, I'm going to write a letter to my parents. Still trust your parents after. Never mind. I need to find pencil paper and an envelope. Am I gonna do that? Oh, that's a lot of pills. And they just have this lying around? What the hell? <laughs> Why do they have that lying around? Oh my god, they have a lot of, like, stuff lying around. Okay. This isn't the right way. Well, what am I supposed to do? Time remaining. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh god. Oh god. <gasps> oh, pencil. Pencil? I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh god. <gasps> paper, paper, paper. Oh, oh, I say, I say, I say. Run for us, run! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. It's everything. I should go back to my room to write the letter. Holy crap, I can't believe it. So there's gonna be things that are timed here? I hate time. I hate being timed. I hate it. It messes me up. Okay. Gonna, we're writing. Dear mom and dad, you guys are little bitches for sending me here. I can't believe you've done this to me. I hope you both rot in hell and remember this. They almost stuck a needle up my ass and I will never forgive you for letting them do this to me. P.S. Almost shit my pants because they took away my stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. They lived here since they were three years old. They're pretty nice. We're roommates now. The nurses are really mean. Today they gave me a big shot and made me fall asleep. They're going to do this to me six days per week. Oh god. Well, I wrote to my parents. Oh, they're gone. What the? <laughs> Why is there a meat cleaver on the bed? What the? What are they doing? <laughs> oh, an empty bed. Was that always empty or am I tripping? I don't think that's very safe for them to have like a, like a hatchet right there. This isn't the right way. God damn it. Oh. Oh, it's lunch already. Whoa! Uh, what are you? I said with Nicolo and Polo. Oh god, you're freaky. 
You're really freaky. I can't, I can't go that way. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> Mr. Rivers, you're due to take your pills now. Okay, uh, thank you. I'm supposed to make sure you take them and I don't feel like standing here all day, so get to it. Oh god. Damn. Can't just pretend. Can't, I can't just pretend, ma'am. Oh god. Good, and before I go, make sure you eat every last bite of that food. Wasting food is not allowed here. Oh god, why does it look like it looks... It looks like your feces, ma'am. Why does it look like you just scooped this out of the toilet? Please. Please, ma'am. Oh god. Oh god. You took so long. Lunchtime is almost over. You better be back in your room before then. Are you kidding me? We just started! Hey, you're new here, aren't you? Uh, yes. I arrived today. Not so. I'm Edward, and behind me is my little brother, Tommy. He can't talk, though. What's your name? Uh, nice to meet you both. My name's Anthony. I heard from Niccolo that you'll be rooming with us. It's nice to meet you. By the way, you don't see anything, do you? Uh, I see your friends. So Niccolo was right. You really can see them, huh? What do they look like? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say... I'll say this one instead. It seems more <laughs> nicer. We can hear you, you know? <laughs> you see? You see, just in case. Just in case of, like, you know, they're, they're listening. They're listening. I'm Twisty! And my name's Smudge. It's nice to meet you guys. Well, lunch is almost over. We'll be going now. Catch you in the room later. Oh, we made some new friends. I have free time until 2.30. Maybe I can find a book to read? Okay. Hello, ma'am's. Why is there a toilet in the kitchen? I need- I, I, I know when I joked that th this looks like something that you just dug up from the toilet, but that's that's not what I meant, though. That's that's literally not what I meant. And the floor is shaking like crazy. That's that's insane. Okay. Is there anything else for me here? I don't even know. Find a book, right? Oh, I'm stupid. It was right here. <laughs> oh, jeez, everyone's here. Hey again! Uh, tell me something about yourself. Smudge and I are brothers. Hee <laughs> hee, liar. <laughs> Tommy and I are happy you're here. Um, I'm not happy that you are here, but more like we're happy we can be friends. Ah, <laughs> I sure hope we can all leave someday soon. Oh, so cute. Hi, new friend. Hello. I'm super happy to have a new friend, and so am I. I'm happy to hear that. Maybe we can all paint a picture together sometime, but it's okay if you don't want to. Oh, you're so cute. I'm happy we could be friends. Smiles at you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hey, what's up? Um, I'm looking for a book to read. There's one next to my bed if you want to try it. It's not very good, though. Thanks, I'll check it out. Polo, get out the freaking way. Hey, Polo. I wish to be free from this place. I am like a beautiful butterfly trapped inside my cocoon here. <laughs> I completely agree. I knew you would agree! Can I... Can I... Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, excuse me. I'm just trying to... Trying to grab a book here. Excuse me. And so my days at Hathmore Children's Asylum began... I read books to help the miserable time pass by, and I sent my parents letters often. I never got any letters back. Maybe I should have wrote to them, like, I ate shit. I mean, I ate poop from the toilet. To this day, I don't know if they ignored my letters or if the nurses withheld personal mail from patients. Neither situation would surprise me in the least. Yeah, what's up? What's up with the nurses, man? Like, what cry, what crawled up their butts and died? Because, like, why are they so mean? 
February 21st, 1949, 6 a.m. Holy cow, a whole month? wonder what we'll have for breakfast today. Probably the same dismal sludge that they serve most days. I kill for some sausage and eggs. I miss what mom used to make. I bet mom is making breakfast and dad is reading the newspaper right now. wonder if they even miss me. I should head to the bathroom to get ready for the day. I'm sick of that damn old me. <laughs> hey, Paulo. Hey, wake up early. I need my beauty sleep. I feel that. But, buddy, do you sleep? What the heck is happening to your bed? What are they doing to you, Tommy? What is this? What is this, Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy. Have they done some unspeakable things? That's why you can't talk? I'm going to paint some trees today. Think I can make pancakes in here over a fire? Uh, I don't think you should set a fire in here. Yeah, you're right. Bad idea. <laughs> I'm glad, glad, you, glad you listened, buddy. Better hurry along. I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. Bathroom. Oh. <gasps> oh no, I'm crying! When will this end? When will this misery end? Uh, brush teeth. I'm brushing my teeth, you guys. Oh god. Oh, my hair. That's a lie. I'm not combing nothing. <laughs> oh, I gotta hold it. Wash my face. Okay. Gotta keep myself awake, you know. Another day. Time to go. Where do I go? Oh, they all left. Everyone probably went to the lunchroom. I should make my bed first or the nurses will scold me. Nice and neat. There you go. Oh, God! What was that? Uh, there's a creepy plague doctor looking at me while I make my bed. Oh, my God. Help me. I saw something creepy, you guys. I can't believe it. Oh my god. I nearly pooped my pants. Hey, are you alright? You look really anxious all of a sudden. <laughs> Someone was watching me outside of room. What? Really? It wasn't just an annoying nurse? Definitely not. I wonder if it could have been the ghost of the asylum. <gasps> uh, have you seen him before? I've woken up in the middle of the night with him hovering over me. <gasps> Oh, that's scary. Her rumors he'll kill you if you upset him, but he's just a ghost, so what can you really do? I hope I don't run into him again. Regardless, there's not much we can do about it since the nurses here don't care, so let's just focus on breakfast for now. God, the same old schlop. I wonder how many times I have to eat the schlop. You hear the nurses whispering about something. What are these bitches talking about? Where, what what in the right mind are they talking about? I wonder what they're saying behind her backs this time. Why are they talking shit about little kids, man? Like you brats will meet another kid soon. Oh, we have a friend. Oh, that lady is a ghost. She just went through the wall. Ugh, the way they talk to us makes me so mad. I'm gonna go over there and pull their stupid hair. Tommy agrees. I couldn't agree with you more. Her hair is hideous. <laughs> Polo. I, I imagine that's how Polo sounds. wonder who the new kid will be. I feel sorry whenever someone else joins us. New kids, finish up. Troy starts soon. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Listen up. These are your chores for this morning. You must complete them before your treatments begin. Pick up garbage in the yard and clean the front porch. Okay, well you to work as a team to complete these tasks as you are all well aware cleanliness is a virtue as such your ability to clean properly is a critical part of your overall wellness exam if you continue to do your jobs well it's a sign that your mental defects are being treated however slowly that may be 
Well, enough talk now. If you want any chance of returning to whatever homes you have, you better get busy and do a thorough job. Don't forget that we're always keeping an eye on you, slobby brats. Jesus. They put garbage in the trash on the porch. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to do this, like, one at a time. Oh, frick. There's ten items. Gotta go back and forth. An ashtray. I'm like, who would... I understand, like, a cigarette, but, like... Who would put a whole dang ashtray on the floor? Like, oh no, the trash is too far away. I'm just gonna put a whole ass ashtray. My cigarettes. How's it going? Oh, I can't talk to them. Oh, Paulo, are you helping out too, buddy? Oh, I saw someone over here. Oh, hey, look at that. Hey, buddies. Hey, friends. Another damn ashtray. The trash can is literally right there and they're talking about us. About cleanliness stuff. I believe nothing. Nothing of the sort. Oh. I just need one more item. Oh look, there's like a little shadow over here. I'm gonna get in trouble. But I can go there. Okay. Well, all my chores is done. And now what? I have to just clean the front porch. Now I need to clean the dirty spots on the front porch. One. Oh, God. I'm trying. <laughs> hey, are you Anthony Rivers? Yes. Why? Just wanted to warn you because something's really scary is going on here. What are you talking about? Here's someone coming. I'll explain everything later. Oh my God, I can see someone walking in there. No, nothing, nothing to worry about. I'm, I'm just doing cleaning. I'm cleaning here. Cleaning. My god, who would throw poop on this porch? I would actually. I would throw poop, poop on this. Why is everyone just like coming at me? Oh my god. Spotless, ma'am. Spotless. I did so well. I cleaned everything. Spit and span. Spit and span, man. Spit and span. It'd be better, but I suppose certainly can't expect perfection from the likes of you for it. What? You're just a hater, nurse. You're just a hater. You're... Suck these nuts. That's why your back is hunched. You literally need to go back to Notre Dame, ma'am. Mr. Bennett, we've noticed you've improved somewhat since you stay here. Keep it up and you'll be able to go home. Oh. Which one of us are you talking to? Oh, please. Obviously, I mean the functional one out of you two. That's messed up. That little monster can't even speak. He'll never leave. You don't even understand what I'm saying, do you? Oh, no, he's crying. Oh, damn, Edward. Damn. 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 I didn't know he was OG like that. Oh. <laughs> you follow me to the punishment cell now. <laughs> How dare you. Th <laughs> Let him get up. Let him get up. <laughs> Don't you throw this disgusting dirt water all over me. Serves you right. Yeah, Edward. Damn. Coming with me right this second. You disgraceful brats. I'll make sure you never see your homes again. They had it coming. I can't believe he did that. Tommy, you're lucky to have an older brother like him. The nurse deserved it. Yeah, she did. I hope it got into her mouth. <laughs> but now Edward's exam scores will be set back. He did that just so he wouldn't be forced to leave Tommy alone. Oh, It's okay, Tommy. Edward would rather stay with you than leave you all alone. 
I know it's bad. We're all stuck here, but at least we all have each other, right? Oh. Damn. It's 9 a.m. I need to go upstairs to get my treatment. Damn, that all happened within like a couple of minutes. Poor Edward. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man, are they gonna put me to sleep again? I'm scared the nurse really will keep us here forever, even though there's nothing wrong with us. Is it because we can see like imaginary friends? Is that why they're like we're schizophrenic and whatnot? Wait, isn't over here like the punishment? This is the right way. Is that where Edwards is? I hope he's okay. Surgery. Oh god, oh god. Hey, uh, uh, listen, ma'am. I had nothing to do with that. That was all Edward. He deserves all the credit because, man, that was one good arm, by the way. That was, a, if he makes it out of here, he should go to the big leagues because that arm was a lot of power. You gotta, you gotta admit that, though. You gotta admit that that arm had a lot of power behind it, okay? So you can't even be mad at him. You gotta be impressed. You gotta be impressed. Good, you're here. Let's get started. Give it here. Oh my god. I don't even know how they're putting it in like that. There's a good boy. Night night. You can't tell what they're saying this time and pass out. Oh my god. 11.54 a.m. Okay. Rising from the dead, are we? How are we feeling today? How am I supposed to know if this does anything? I always feel so sick and groggy when I wake up after the shot. Uh, I feel great, thanks. Lovely news indeed. Maybe you'll be leaving us soon after all. We'll miss having your cute little face around when that happens. A throw up in mouth. I'll just leave. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Get me out of here. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. Looking at me <gasps> menacingly. How do I? Am I able to go see him? Am I able to go, am I able to go check up on him? This is the right way. Damn it. Okay. Do not enter without mask. Only with pass in the sector are our most violent patients without the permission of the chief physician entrance. But if the door must always be closed. Oh my God. Okay. Do I just go back? No one's here. Did they go to lunch? Am I tripping? Oh, they're here at lunch. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Mr. Rivers, how nice to finally speak with you. Uh, who are you? I'm Dr. Rupert Fig. I've arrived here somewhat recently to conduct some research. I can- I, So you're gonna be kind of important because I can kind of see your face, so pretty much. You know me? Of course I know you, boy. Well, you're the very apple of Hathmore's eyes as of late. Uh, nice to meet you. Of course, of course. I hear your condition is quite the, shall I say, fascinating subject. I very much look forward to speaking with you in the near future. Until then, my boy. Why is everyone like jumping at me? That, that this I I like to speak to your supervisors, please, because most of you guys are like so close to me. I'd like to introduce myself as well. My name's Boris Frenzy. I usually serve as an assistant to the doctors here, though I know how rough they can be. Sometimes I feel the staff forgets we're supposed to be helping children here, not imprisoning them. If the doctor or anyone else gives you trouble, you can come to me. Well, I don't trust you, so I'll probably I probably won't do it. Nice meeting you, Anthony. I hope to see you around. Thanks, Boris. I appreciate it. Didn't I just eat my schlop? Looks like you attracted the attention of one of the doctors. I'd watch out if I were you, Anthony. Uh... 
Chris here with the warning. I have a bad feeling. Strange things happen to those who are near the doctors here. Ugh, that's not good. I heard that sometimes the kids die. Or they disappear, never to be seen again. It's true. Please be careful and try to lay low. I have to stay by your side so you don't have the chance of ending up alone with him. Ah, oh, you guys are so nice to me. If you need to go somewhere, just let me know. I'll stick by you. Oh, thank you. Will do. Okay, just the schlop. Oh, I gotta take my pills. Oh, God. Why well, I gotta take so many pills? No one else is gonna pop out at me, right? I have some free time. I'll head back into my room. All right. <laughs> this is from Annabelle. Handed you a letter. Oh, thanks, man. What's that about? And who's Annabelle? I need to use the letter opener by my bed to read this. Is Annabelle that person that was right... Uh, that jump scared us. You guys. Follow, is that how you sleep? God damn. It, you're literally going through the... For free? For free, Polo? For free? Uh, dear Anthony Rivers, meet me tonight in the shed outside the asylum. I would never risk us getting into this much trouble if it wasn't really important. So please be there. I'll see you just past 9pm. Be careful that you don't get caught. Oh god. Why does Annabelle want to meet? Is she the one who wanted to warn me during chore chores early? I can't read. Jesus. I was busy reading. I should interrupt. I don't want to disturb his beauty sleep. Hi, Anthony. Sorry, Twisty isn't here right now. Me too. I'm going to paint a picture of that nurse falling off a cliff. <laughs> you do that. Sorry about what happened to you and Edward. Well, sadly. Oh, I'm sorry, Tommy. I'm sorry. Hey, Anthony. What were you reading earlier? You seem nervous. Annabelle. She's one of the patients at this asylum. She's been here for a long time, too. We're not allowed to talk to the girls here. Make sure you don't do anything to get in trouble. Oh, would you two keep it down? <laughs> He's pissed. He's like kicking the air. <laughs> I supposed to sleep with all your talking. It's almost time for lessons already. Oh god. Uh oh, Polo's right. Classes are starting now. Let's get to the classrooms upstairs quick. Oh god. Oh god. Listen, everyone, today's lesson will be on mathematics. Oh god damn it. Please. I'm no longer in school, so I don't have to deal with math. And now here I am, playing a video game with math. I'll be giving you a series of questions, and I expect you to answer them quickly. We have a lot to cover and can't afford to fall behind schedule. Begin today's lesson by testing your counting skills. I can barely count my fingers. I will draw a number of apples on the board, then I want you to tell me how many there are, understand? Yes, ma'am. Let's begin. Oh, frick. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Perfect! Oh god. Next, we'll be focusing on geometry. Ow, frickin' frickin' frick. I will draw a shape on the board, then I want you to tell me the name of that shape. Understand? Oh, frick. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is a... Ah! <laughs> I misclicked! I misclicked! That, was that a death? Hexagon. I misclicked. Freaking sweaty hands. Now it's time to take a look at some equations. I like how she was like breaking her neck and yelling at me. <laughs> I will write an equation on the board that I want you to solve it and tell me the answer. Understand? Oh god. Good luck. Let's begin. Let's see. 4, 5, 6, 16, 13. Correct! We're now on to the last part of our lesson. I'm going to ask you to solve another equation. This one is so simple, I won't even bother explaining it. Ready? Oh god. Oh god. What the frick? Let's see. Uh. 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 
I knew you brats wouldn't know the answer. Well, if you gave me... Okay, hold on. Negative four. Okay, so first things first, we gotta do this, right? Negative four, right? Oh, frick. <laughs> that concludes our lesson for the day. God damn it. Only had more time. Dinner starts soon and I'm not going to miss it. So scram already. Class is now dismissed. I'll see you tomorrow for our next lesson. Well... I sucked. I sucked, you guys. I should go back to school. Never skip school, kids. Uh, you don't want to be dumb like me. She thinks she's so clever pulling out those trick questions. Doesn't it ever get old? I know, right? Anyways, it's almost time for dinner. We should head to the lunchroom. Mathematics is terrible for your skin. That's why my skin is flawless. I don't do no math. <laughs> Stomach rumbles. Oh, no. I think it's almost time for dinner. Head downstairs for dinner. It's much. Tommy's hungry. Let's all go get dinner. Yeah, let's all go eat. You got wait. Is there a buddy? Edwards! He's just right there. Oh, so this is the classroom? That's crazy. I can't believe it. I can't believe that was the classroom. Oh, it's right here, right? Lunchroom. Yeah, there you go. I'm getting the hang of the, the layout. During dinner that night, all I can think of was I should risk everything to talk to Annabelle. An impending sense of dread and anxiety coursed through me as Niccolo's advice played through my head over and over again. I would come to find out that very night that our lives would change forever. Anthony Rivers. Damn, Anthony, you should become a poet. February 21st, 1948. 9, 8.30 p.m. Crap. Time to meet Annabelle. I should bring the candle behind my desk. It's dark. Oh, gosh, freaking damn it. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Polo, why would you do that? <laughs> Polo, why would you do that to me? I won't try to warn you. I won't stop you, but I hope you know what you're doing. Polo, why would you do that to me? She said to meet in the shed outside. I need to be careful nobody sees me. Oh, did they just sleep with each other? Damn, yeah, Polo's legs spread out and everything. Or, or Niccolo, man. Oh, crap. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. How am I gonna... Oh my god, they suck. Oh my god, they suck. They suck balls. They suck balls. They need glasses. They can't see shit. Oh! Oh, hi! Hi, Anthony. Thank you for meeting me out here. Uh, are you Annabelle? Yes, I'm Annabelle. It's nice to officially meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. And this is my imaginary friend, Pookie! <laughs> hey, Pookie! Hello, Anthony! Hi, Pookie! Pookie used to look different, but when we moved here, he changed. He said he wanted to look more intimidating to protect me. Pookie's always looking out for me. Aww. Anyways, I'm sorry for asking you to meet me here like this instead of telling you everything in the letter. But I thought it would be important to meet and hear what you know about the situation as well. Uh, okay, what's going on? Have you heard of the ghost of this asylum? I'm gonna say that, excuse me. It was in my room. That's what I was afraid of. People say it's a ghost or an imaginary friend, but nobody knows. I think it's dangerous. What do you mean? I see it sometimes, especially at night. I will see its eyes staring at me from outside the window. Oh God, it's really scary. I can barely handle it stalking me like this. 
But I'm more worried for you. Why? It was in my room last night, and I heard it talk for the first time. It said it had to visit its new favorite toy, and it whispered your name. Oh my god! Please be careful, Anthony. I never heard it speak before. I was horrified it was talking about a person here. It's stalking you. And if rumors about the ghost are true, you're in grave danger. Oh my god! I'm really sorry to scare you. I hate even saying this, but I know I want to be told if it were me. Thanks, it's scary, but I appreciate it. Stay safe. I'm gonna look for info. If there's any way to keep ourselves safe or stop the ghost, I wanna know how. We should leave, Annabelle. It's getting late. Pookie's right. Head back safely, Anthony. We'll go first so you can make a run for it if we get caught. Uh, they should be back in the dorm by now. I'll start heading back to my room now. God damn it. Do I have to go do that all myself? That's terrifying. Why is there an axe right there? Frick. Get through here. Are they just going back and forth? Oh, oh frick. Oh my god. I can't believe she didn't see me. Oh my god. I can't. They're so freaking blind. Oh. Nicola, what are you doing here? What the devil are you doing out here? I told you to be careful. Listen, something really weird is going on. What's the matter? <laughs> What are you two doing awake at this hour? Uh, um, nurse, I had to go pee. I had to go pee. Back to sleep now. You two are in for a world of trouble tomorrow. Uh, nurse, what if I said I had to go pee? What if I had to go pee? That night, Niccolo Polo and I returned to our room. Tommy and Smudge were already awake from the nurses yelling. Told them everything that Annabelle shared, and we stayed up late into the night discussing everything. Anthony Rivers. Yeah, those are real homies right there. 